What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow FM23 series where we look at young talent on Portal Manager and we see how they get on the course of their careers. If you're excited hit the like button down below and subscribe for daily FM content. Also down below is my Let's Play channel which is up and running. Go check that out. We've got um, Elden Ring on there and God of War. So today we're looking at a player called Gliano Simeone. I'm Probably balls in the first name completely, but I'm pretty sure I'm close at least on the second. Again, you can give suggestions down below, but obviously I make the final decision on whether the player is going to be worthy of a video or not. But obviously, I'm going to go through quite a lot of requests in the next few days because I've not been able to record as much and it, I feel like I should at least, at least do the recommendation that people have asked for. So, he's a striker that um, has a max potential rating of, when I bring it up here for you, 150. Um, and straight away, as you can see, he's on loan um, from Etico Madrid. So you can't sign him in the first season. But straight away, what stands out for me is 5'11. Let's make that, make that point straight away. Good bravery, 14 finishing, 13 technique, and decent, well rounded physical stats. And the pace, stamina, acceleration, balance, agility, all, the rest, all, 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 that, all that good stuff. But straight away, looks like a nice, solid player. Now, valuation is 5. 6.75 to 6.75 million pounds now obviously like we said he's on loan from a loan at let's go madrid from, from let's go madrid there is no clause in the contract he's nothing, 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 here, nothing here that says you can actually they can actually make him permanent at let's go at the golfer but he's got a minimum lease clause of 10 million pound from um let's go madrid so if you were to get lucky enough he doesn't renew his contract in the next two years um or next year or yeah, next year sorry you can buy him for 10 million pound but they're suggesting here on the report that you can get him for 5.75 million pounds now the, the negative side to him agent high fee that's kind of standard uh needs little language lacks to nation could be certain situations it's not massive issue there for me personally but the main plus side is he can play in competitions he can he's very consistent and he's adaptable player in another country which is obviously handy if you try to scout him and bring him into a foreign league outside of spain um now two star current ability three star potential this may be one of those players now that i remember a, year, a few years ago a guy called werner may you know him played with chelsea recently he was not amazing in terms of actual stats on numbers on the technical mental and physical but at that i think i think it was like a struck guy he just was just blitzing goals at a really young age even with like barely any insane stats so let's let's see how this go how this goes so in case you're not new to this series we do we do a jump every four or five years or so so we're gonna go jump forward now the first jump and see how he gets on early on in his first four or so years all right so he's at let's go madrid he stayed there Still got a low valuation here. Um, and you can see here the stats of loads have stayed the same. The physicals will obviously increase naturally because obviously um as he gets older, you get more physically developed as a player. 15 finishing, 14 technique. He can play, like we said, in a variety of positions. He's very strong on his face, he's reasonable for he's reasonable that left foot's reasonable, very strong on his right foot. I've got shot at the first bit. But you can see at the bottom here, 32 appearances, 15 goals. So a goal over the game or so. Injury record looks okay. Actually, it's the, one of the shortest lists we've had at this point in a, in a review. Um, major injury, two months from falling. Um, hip injury for two months. But, like I said, his current ability is at the moment 136, maximum 150 uh, that, he, that he can get. So, he's getting close. He's getting close-ish to his full potential. So, Zago had him on loan. He got 17 goals that season. Then, he kind of didn't get much game time. In the early years at Let's Go Madrid here looking at this. But then this year, he's got 32 starts and he's got 15 goals. So like I said, one of those players that just doesn't seem to doesn't seem to jump out on oh, it looks amazing. But it's like actually for the fee you're paying for and the goal record he's got in the in the in sorry yeah, in La Liga, he ain't he ain't, he ain't a bad option to sign, is he really? Um now let's look at the details here of the contract. He's got a 40 million pound release because that was started in 2023. So Hang on, I'm trying to do the math, I'm trying to work out my head. That basically is what I said might happen before. That that 10 million pound this calls was, was renewed when he came back off loan from Zaragoza. So if you're gonna do this deal, I 
forget what they did they, 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 they loan deal and you gotta try and be quick unless they renew it while it's on loan there still so the only thing you could possibly do would be to scout him and then be interested in transfer and make him say so won't sign his new contract if that makes sense like it's no i mean, she's, I mean she's, you know you get all the time yourself don't you but you basically say i'm not gonna sign a new contract because I'm, I'm considering the interest elsewhere that's in in, in just, I, want, I want to sign me so maybe try that that could be something you could possibly do so doing well with his goal return um in the, in the first full season he's had at starting games 12 in the league and 21 again it's about a goal of every game ish not quite but it's, it's it, you know it's close enough so i want to so i want to see if he continues as, as go and if he can get to like the 20 goal mark or move somewhere else all right so he's gone to everton oh she's gone up slightly uh, as you can see here, relatively the same physical stats and, men and mental stats. Nothing really drastically changing. We get the technical abilities up to, up to like 15 now. But then it was a bit lower than that before. One to injuries. A few more injuries now, but they're not overly concerning. Um, a glancing view. Um, I don't know what you'd... I still don't know what people would count as injury proneness. I really don't. Amount or severity. What I'm assuming is the amount. Because you get wooden serious injury get three serious injuries in your career that's not really proneness is it but if you get like the little knocks then but again you can make your judgment on this it, it doesn't it look it's on training in match so it could just be the way it's gone in this in this scenario so let's go it. so with the year he got so he got 15 goals that first season then he got 19 in the next season and then he got 15 in the other one and then he went for a free transfer to to everton which is interesting he got 13 goals and then he got three but we'll look at the season 29 to 30. yeah so there's a lot of big injuries here um in this year here that kind of inhibited him a little bit so that could be a factor in it but he's got i don't know why they're going to free i'm assuming it's the I mean, he, he, got, he got plenty of football. Maybe he just, maybe Everton played what I'd said to do earlier, where they were interested in signing him, and they just kept scouting him, and he didn't, and he didn't sign a new contract because he wanted to go somewhere else. Maybe that's what happened there. I'm assuming, I mean, obviously we can't work that out, um, but it would make sense based on the information that we have there. Nice little player. For a free transfer, it's a bargain. Um, it's, there's no negative side to sign this guy on a free transfer. There isn't. And even if he was to not quite do it here, the valuation means you get his pure profit. If you sell for a quid, it's pure profit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Obviously, you wouldn't sell for a quid. Uh, though FM would try and buy him a profit for that. I'm sure they would. Um, but yeah, you can um, see that he's pure profit. And he's a nice little player. Right, let's see if he can do it in the Premier League or if he, go, or if he move somewhere else. Because I think he can do it in the Premier League. All right, so he's has got to Red Bull Salzburg now. Um, the RB Leipzig, sorry. Red Bull Salzburg. And you can see there the goal returns has increased on the right hand side of the screen. Um, yeah, nice solid player. Uh, injury, injury record again is a long list, uh, but I mean that make that what you will. So that we can see how Everton, Everton did with. So Everton next season he got it was a sold him for twelve point seven five million pound, bit of profit. Um, then he got twelve goals in twenty four. They got thirteen in twenty three. They got ten in thirty. And then 15 and 41. He's not a terrible player. He is actually a little, I would say, a little gem. Um, not overly expensive. Got eye for goal. Has a limitation on his on his on his ability. He didn't quite reach it on well, potential ability in 50. But scored goals in the Liga. He scored goals in the Bundesliga, clearly. And the one season we got a lot one the one season. When he got a good amount of football from the start in the Premier League, he got 13 goals and 25. So he got the goal returns. A good, I think the good thing about this guy is, if I remember correctly, he is locked to this potential. You cannot... But it's not like it's a varied, varied. So I think the key thing to do early on, if you want this guy, if you do sign this guy because of this, this video, let me know. I love to hear that when, when people say that. It's nice to hear. It's actually help, it's helping people. Um is if you say i want this guy on my team i think it'd be perfect what i want to do i would suggest you transfer trot this in and you scout the living hell out of him constantly in the hopes that he will not sign a new contract at let's go madrid like he did in this one get him out it might not happen in your say but he did in this one 
in the hopes he doesn't sign a new contract. And then as a result of that, the £10 million release clause is still there and it's cheaper to get him in. Now, obviously, every say is different, but I'm just giving you maybe that could be a scenario where you get him for cheaper. Excuse me. As opposed to gambling on a free transfer, which could may not, may not happen in your save. Besides this guy, um, good finishing, good technique, nice all rounded physical stats. Negative side to him. It's hard to pick one. Maybe he has an injury issue, injury issue, but it's not in the scout report. And also, it won't get much better than this, I don't think. Obviously, you may get what, slight increases, but I think for the fee you'll be paying for for him, even 40 million is not overly drastic, I don't think. If you're constructed in a certain way, if you pay 40 million pound up front, I think you might be a bit, you know, overspending a little bit. But he scored goals in La Liga, Bundesliga, and Premier League. So, in the right team, I'm sure it'll be good for you. If you sign this guy in your save, let me know in the comment section. Also, guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well. Down below, the Let's Play channels down below for Elden Ring and all the rest of that. And I'll catch you all in the next video. But until then, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.